Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron for Kaiserreich as a CSA. Let us continue on from we last left off. So we are now doing very, very well. We're pushing our way quite strongly into the middle of the country. Or into the PSA. I ask for focus, total mobilization. Let's go for an industry designer. Uh, construction speed, resource gain, access sounds pretty nice. Finery, industrial research speed goes up. I mean, this one's just better. Radar construction speed. No, so let's get you. Our uh, factories would also build a little bit faster as well. We're not actually even building any factories. We're just repairing shit. Which is actually probably like my own bad. I should be actually building stuff that matters. So build a bunch of military factories in the south. For all this shit to the bottom of the list. Like it doesn't matter at all. Just military factories up the wazoo. We become a military powerhouse. How many? F we don't actually have that many civilian factories. We have 91 military. We only actually have 51 civilian, which actually is not very good. So, okay, we'll actually build these civilian factories first. At least for right now. You know, we're, we're, we're in a war, but we're not in like a major war. We're not in anything that like matters that much. Like, we're not going to lose, is basically what I'm trying to say here. Okay, cut 91, push into there. Number one troop, uh, go over here. But yeah, I basically just want to smash my way straight through the middle with a large, more or less a death stack. Yeah, straight to the south. Because apparently, I think the south is slightly easier. I mean, it's mountains here. But deserts actually do not provide a penalty for attacking. And you guys can push your way to the north as well. We're going to take over boys. Boys, Idaho. Stretch your front line out one province. Hopefully that'll be okay. There's just too many Canadians. They pose too much of a threat right now. How long till you can actually walk into those problems? It's going to take you another 10 hours. But what, I, what I'm wanting you guys to do, of course, is to... Split up. So yeah, like you split there, and then one of you will keep going this way. And just try to make their front line bigger, because again, their front line being bigger is better for us, because oh, we have more troops. We can actually hold every single province on our front line, but there is a theoretically chance that the CSA or the PSA cannot. If they get too uh, weak. So I want you guys to counterattack again. Red can go in. Orange, you can also do an offensive line. That's okay. okay you move in this direction. Were you actually my territory to begin with? Yeah, you were mine. For a while, at least. The Australasia first movement. Is that the... Uh, you're going national populist. Oh, my mouse cursor is going insane. Excellent. I mean, they're still on taunts, but they've kind of got this Hitler-looking guy going on, so I'm not too sure what their plan is. I guess the Germans are just going to really focus on the hard on the Chinese. We'll see how that actually goes. Canada... I mean, they're actually surprisingly uh, not engaging too hard on the whole war aspect of things right now. Which I'll admit I'm actually a little bit surprised by. Getting a little bit of organization and counterattack back into there. Push your actually push your way into this province. If we push our way into this province, we'll actually encircle a decent amount of men there. You also go over here and go to way go to go to the way to uh, all the way to Seattle. So they're attacking into us here, but you know, we're counterattacking into them, so it shouldn't actually make a big difference at all. 
Why are you retreat? You can't retreat into the enemy. I don't know if you know that or not. Yeah, he just retreats that way and he falls backwards. We got our improved artillery. Let us go with you. 200 days. Get a little bit better troops there. Which one of you is actually moving in that direction? It's the, uh... It's you. So you actually move in that province. When we take over this province, we'll actually encircle all these troops that are currently in Colorado. Which it looks like it's kind of going to plan somewhat. Try to push our way over there. You push your way this way. Stop trying to counterattack into me. That gets extremely rude. Oh no, there's actually a troop already in Seattle. It's not a big surprise, but still. Okay, you guys just kind of reorganize yourselves. It looks like the, uh... Well, they actually they lost Madrid again. We'll see how that actually, the whole Spanish Civil War plays out as well. Because the Spanish Civil War does matter a lot for France. Just because the AI doesn't have to fight a two-front war. Which makes it ext uh, significantly easier for them. Uh, yeah, you can go that way. That's fine. Uh, you can actually go over here. Let's advance in that province. Where is purple? Purple's these guys up in the north. You know what? You can counterattack if you can. You know, I'm not going to say no to that. Who's actually in Seattle? Are you actually like a decent troop? Actually, no, you're not. You're basically awful. So we're pushing our way into Tucson. Pushing our way over here. For 85. 86. 89. If we can counter into them, I mean, I don't know how many troops are actually in here. Probably about like 10 divisions. It's not a ton, but it is something. Okay, okay, you all just hold off for now. Are you Canadian troop? Yeah, Canada is sending uh, divisions down here. I feel like that should be an act of war, but... I guess it's fine. We can't stop them from doing it. At least not yet. Yeah, no, you are just... I mean, I guess you can attack. It's whatever. You pushing that guy. Did we get the encirclement yet? Yeah, no, we're at 90%. we are at 93. 94% in that battle. Uh, how about you guys to the south? Kind of just like stop attacking for now. Purple's fine. I'll help purple keep attacking. But I think we do need to slightly kind of reorganize ourselves somewhat. One of you guys go to Phoenix. Any of these other territories basically abandoned? The answer is no to that one. But this guy should die soon, trapping all of you. Giving us uh, basically complete secure control over Colorado. Yeah, you guys can hold off for now. Uh, are you going to go to Phoenix? How long until you get to Phoenix? It's going to take you four days. It's going to take you four days. I'm actually going to keep attacking just to make sure that you do not uh, go to Phoenix. There we go. So that has worked out quite well. The red... You know, red can deal with that probably on their own. Everybody else here... You can ignore. Then all of pink can go on the pink line. At least for now, you know, get yourself uh, repositioned. All of the brown army as well. Stay over here. Do not be over here. Thank you. Wait, wait. Did we actually deal with... Uh... Okay, we did deal with Miami. I wasn't actually too, too sure what was happening there. We can push our way here. Push you guys down here. 
And those, yeah, they should all die. There's really no, uh, no hope for them. You push your way up and around. Can you march to this territory? You can. Okay. We're very, very close to San Diego. Yeah, and you are all very much deceased. Which is excellent news for us. You guys still aren't doing anything. Uh, any plans for attacking? Ban French organizations. That is a way that war can uh, break out. We'll see if the French are very upset by that. So the commune of France could declare war on Germany right now. Which would put France and Japan on the same side in the war. Or in, in our war. Oh, we're importing like way too much stuff. We don't need to be importing anything anymore. Because we have so much territory. We've basically taken over all of the south. Get more stuff from the uh, Germans. You know, realistically, Germany probably would not actually be trading with us. Okay, you go here, you go here, and we have another troop already moving into Tucson, so that should more or less be okay. Okay, go on to this empty territory. You're now completely surrounded. Go here and then push your, you know, loop your way back down to Seattle. The Red Army, I don't even know what to do with Red Army after this. Because I feel like we're kind of okay in our troops. Maybe I actually want to deploy Red Army uh, on this front. And then basically just have them spearhead straight to Sacramento. And then go to Frenzo. That sounds like a fun little place. Yeah, they really can't escape. Oh, oh, PSA. You try to save American democracy, but it did not work out so well for you. Slowly keep on bringing troops around to the south. Loop our way around into California. 94. Why are you even trying to break your way out? It's not going to work out for you guys. I'm sorry to inform you on this. You guys go there. We've taken over Seattle. And you are there. You're on this front, please. Thank you. Like, we're doing fantastic work. PSA is at 81%. Not close enough to get them to capitulate, but uh, we are getting there. You know, once Red actually deals with this as well, then we'll uh, redeploy way over here. And there's actually not too many men that I can see in these provinces, so hopefully of just a massive attack, we'll get something done. Go for like let's get like a nice music in here. Returning in coffins. That's basically what they're gonna do, so that's fine. Uh push the Pacific Front, recruit a troop in Colorado. I'm I'm assuming they're probably gonna actually they're not actually defending against us quite yet. But a 25% attack and defense bonus against the PSA, given the fact that uh, we're kicking their ass so hard right now. Really shouldn't even be considered fair, but Okay, you guys can push your way into Salt Lake City. You push your way over here, except for red, you go to where I want you to be. Uh, you know, Brown, you can actually probably do like another general offensive across the entire front line here. Let's see if we can take our way into Phoenix. We're looping our way all the way down and around. You know what? It'd probably be better if you go here, you go here, and then pink push your way to San Diego. And you know, cut them off from the Mexican border. Yeah, red, you just deploy over here. If you can uh, strategically redeploy. Okay, you will not. Fine. Rajabajan has been annexed by the Russians. Yes, give me more and more materials, please. Thank you. Okay, let's see if you can just go over here. Go over here. Red line. You're not really ready to attack quite yet. Fine, you stay here, you stay here. 
do another offensive. I believe it should work out. Britain wants to send us 402 rifles. I will absolutely accept it. How many guns are we behind? We're missing 29,000 rifles. Uh, that's not excellent. In fact, it's actually really, really bad. It Stop trying to attack into me. It's just extremely rude. And then, yeah, your front line will also just extend... What am I doing? No, not you. This front line... Okay, well, well we can't actually do it until, uh... You walk into here, so do that, please, first. Okay, we got another division. We'll send them again to the Canadian border. Because I don't really need them anywhere else. I, like, I don't need them to fight against the PSA. Like, we're fine here. Sure, we're taking heavy casualties. But it's less casualties than they've taken, so... It all is working out okay. Can march into these empty territories. The Italians are also trying to help you guys out, but... We will not allow that to happen. So you go here, and then we can loop back into Portland. Taking over Olympia. You guys are doing fantastic work. And then, yeah, this front line will basically be, hey, all the Canadian border shall be secure for us. Yeah, so they're falling back out of that province. You guys can probably push your way into here. That should be fine. Yeah, let's see if we can push our way into that guy. 74. We've almost gotten us around over here. Against all these troops. They might have a port. Uh, we're going to be taking the port soon. Now we go like here, up, and around to Portland. The rest of you are doing just fine, I would say. Yeah, there we go. I mean, they still have a port, at least for right now. Uh, we'll deal with the port soon enough. Uh, this also, this front line doesn't need to be this long. We can shrink that down to here. Get some, uh, weapons from the French. The Red Army is slowly still trying to make their way across, I, I believe, and then they'll make it eventually. Go, go, go. We'll push our way to this province. Push your way here. You push your way here. You push your way there. And that, uh, is, it's looking very well. Like the PSA again, you should have you should have accepted that ceasefire. Should have accepted that ceasefire. You go to Portland because that guy's retreating to Portland. You make your way over there. How about you guys actually deploy your way down to this front? That is going to be important. How about you just okay? You hold off for now. You go there. You're trying to counterattack into them. You're not really going to be able to take that port, I think. At least not for right now. But I think it's going to be a good time to end this video. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not going to do it, always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.